Here with head coach uh, John Redmond after Lincoln's win over McKendry. Coach, came out on your home floor, had a pretty nice crowd. How did you, what did you think about the atmosphere? I, I thought the atmosphere was great. I, uh, Dan, as you know, when the band comes, a lot of people come. And, and for us at home, that's something we need to get the players motivated. And, you know, and I think this win was because of the fans in the band. You know, I, I, I have no doubt the kids was going to do their jobs, but the enthusiasm in the gym helps players get motivated even more. You came out to play, obviously. Your new defense, you know, shut them down for much of the game. You know, you had a 20-point lead for most of the second half. What did you think of the way your team played tonight? Well, I, I thought defensively, I, I thought we did very well. Uh, we talked about it in pregame today is that we – not disrespecting McHenry in any way that we got to up defensively because what we got ahead of us, you know, we have to be a better defensive team to have success. And as you know, in this league, a lot of these teams play well and they up tempo. So I, my goal is to get better each night. And I thought tonight was a good chance if we could have some success, they can get confident and what we're trying to do, and I think that happens. That's going to help us this weekend. Charles Cole came out in the first half, only had two points. Second half, he scored the first 15 points of the period. What was the difference? Oh, uh, Charles. You know, we we, we you know we made uh, I made a comment when I walked in and seen he had a new haircut. I you know I told him uh, you know Delilah, uh, you know I told him the Bible story. Oh, oh Lord, Charles, uh, you got your haircut. But, you know, it, it's one of those things that you try to uh, ease him. I think he's a good player. Uh, you know, he's a great kid. Uh, and I think he's going to make, the, as I told you earlier in the year, I think he's going to make a great difference because what he does at the fourth spot. You know, he can go inside and he can go outside. And that's pretty hard for some people to guard him. You know, Charles is one of those players that he can get on the roll and, and never stop. You know, so, uh, you know, he did what he's been doing so far this year. Well, Cedric Riddle had another big night, 17 points alone in the first half. Uh, how did he play? I thought he played excellent. He, I think he's got that monkey off his back. Up until this point, we hadn't seen the real Cedric, and I'm glad it couldn't have, you know, that it happened tonight. So now when I'm going, be leaving tomorrow to go down to Missouri Southern, I feel a little more better that Cedric is here now. Uh, that we getting something out of him because, as you know, up until this point, he was up and down. He he, he looked a little more like Cedric tonight. Would I think he had a double double uh, tonight? So I think he looked more like Cedric. So uh, I feel good about his play tonight. That's helped the other part of our team. Well, you got a big weekend coming up: Pitt State and Missouri Southern. Um, what's the what's the main thing that you're going to take from this game that your team still needs to work on? Uh, you know, right now I still think uh, defense is and rebounding is the two things that we have to take seriously and do very well. Uh, I'm trying to get them to understand, Dan, that uh, those are the two things that can't take a night out. You know, they can't that you know that's one those two things you can't say. Well, I'm going to rest defensively and I'm not going to box out. Those are two things we got to do well every second that we're on that floor. And um, and I thought tonight we rebounded the ball well. And we got to really carry that over to this weekend because both of those ball clubs are excellent rebounding teams. All right, Coach, congrats on the win. Thanks. Thank you.